All right, so this is a message from you to you. So I am channeling the higher self, I do believe, in this video. It is you communicating with you. Don't put any labels on this. It is a wise communication from yourself to yourself. So I'm going to just talk. I'm going to just speak about certain things, about reality and how you can better go about relaxing into the knowing that the unconscious mind is helping you. God is helping you. So you are programming yourself and you are listening to certain affirmations. Those things are great. But that isn't who you are. Who you are is, in fact, programmed into your unconscious aura. And as much as we resist the aura and the unconscious mind for the responsibility for creating aspects of our realities and bringing certain opportunities, people, things to us, just keep doing what you're doing is the simple message. You are doing everything correctly. What I'm saying is that you are not the program itself, although the program might be carried out in the unconscious, you are infinite being. You are infinite consciousness. Now, in a simple terminology word, like if I could explain this in one word, I would say it is your unconscious aura or your aura, your energy field in motion. You know, your energy is always changing. That's the truth. It's changing dependent upon our different lifestyle habits. This is why positive lifestyle habits are very important. Positive diet, getting enough sleep. These things seem simple on the surface, but God is directly tuned and attuned and in tune with how much sleep you have received, how you're treating yourself, how much rest you are allowing yourself. Forget about the mind and what it tells you about being lazy and all this other stuff. That's all made up. The thing that is most important is our relationship with the divine, with God. But I will say that we must preserve our vital life force essence to develop a high enough energy signature because whenever we do this, we actually obtain the unconscious energetic field or the aura, the magnetic force. I've talked about this in different videos and topics, and we're going over it again. What I'm saying is that this attractive force is in fact a highly intelligent force and see it brings you opportunities we are taught that we need to go out and try we need to go out and effort guys that's what the mind wants you to be stuck in i'm i am seriously channeling and i am revealing to us information in this video and in this audio that we may never hear again and what I am saying here is that we have been taught backwards. Now, that's not an excuse to not program yourself. You should be listening to subliminals. We ought to be consistently placing our minds and our focus and attention and awareness onto the better things in life, the things that make us feel a little bit more positive. But we also have to understand the lifestyle habits that promote a healthy sense of self, a healthy energetic self, a healthy aura self. It's that unconscious aura. It's the preserving of the life force. This world, I'm revealing so many truths in this video, it's not even funny. This world, listen up to this. This is the most crucial part. 
this world programs us to release too much energy in excess this energy is responsible for literally bringing you certain opportunities just think about that for a minute think about the powerhouse that lies within each and every one of us the potential now this requires a highly spiritual mind this requires a higher intelligence to direct and drive the vehicle that consciousness is driving Positive lifestyle habits are definitely number one in the equation because, listen up, this is it. It's who you're being energetically, okay? It's all your aura. It's who you're being as an aura. It's who you're being energetically, vibrationally. That is literally setting up an unseen, yes, I just said an unseen attractive force into your life and in mine. This quite literally means that all you have to do, all that's required, is for you to preserve your life force essence in in theory and in application. Because we're talking about application in this video. All you essentially need to do. You see, this seems too simple. It seems way too simple. Because most of us hear this and it's like it just goes right over our heads. And that's why most people aren't where they want to be. Now, I'm just telling us the truth. Now, I'm going to tell us another truth. No matter how much energy you end up releasing of your life force essence. Like say that you don't have a very powerful aura in the present moment. And you are developing that. God still loves you. I'm going to say that again. God still loves you no matter what. No matter how big or small you are. Playing in this game called life. And reality. The reality is unbiased. It doesn't care what character, what aura you put on. It doesn't matter. It's just responding to that. So it's checking your aura at an unconscious level. These are things that we're not even aware of. These things are the tools. These are the gateways. These are the gateways. Now, this also comes through programming ourselves through subliminals, through subliminal affirmations, by affirming things to yourself each and every day. It's very positive. It's a habit. But so are other things. Clean diet's a habit. Staying away from toxic activities. That's a habit. Positive lifestyle habits. And see, I'm going to say this again. Whether you have a toxic lifestyle habit, which is just really a perception and definition that man created. It doesn't even exist. The definition itself does not exist. Because these are things that were defined by man, not the universal God. Universal God does not care what you express via your life force energy. It just responds to what you're expressing or suppressing. Because you could be suppressing an energy. It doesn't matter. What matters is what the life force essence means to you personally. What you are going to do with it personally. Now I am getting rather excited in this video. I'm transmuting much energy. There's a lot of energy moving if you can tell. Now, this is a good thing because all energy must be transmuted eventually. Now, that is the truth. Even if all of your suppressed energy, it must all move eventually. That is an absolute fact of the universe. Energy is meant to free flow. Now, let's move on to this one. Like, as we give, we also receive, right? Because I'm a firm believer in that as well. But let me tell you, it depends on how you're giving it depends on the nature of it. If we're acting from our lower nature centers and we're giving from those centers, we're not going to be able to utilize the higher intelligence consciousness because we're spending it on a purely lower center physical means. The physical is like the lowest reality that you can get. 
One of the lowest dimensional realities is the third dimensional experience. We must raise the energy. Not in order to obtain something. Now listen, listen. Not in order to obtain something. We're not raising the energy to attain any enlightenment or anything. No, it's it's not that at all. Those are also just coined terms through brainwashing of society. These things don't exist. The definition doesn't exist, but the energy exists. So without putting a label on something, what is it? That's your question. That's your homework. Leaving this video. This is a very high consciousness video. It's a very high consciousness message. You must be operating on a very high intelligent level to receive the message that is embedded within this audio. Now, with this being said, the unconscious aura, this is what we're taking from this video, the unconscious aura, that's what's bringing you the circumstances unseen to us. Like, we don't even see this because the conscious mind can't even see what's happening in the background. But the God is working in the background for you, for all of us. But it's also who and what character you are being in the present. What aura have you developed? How much life force essence are you developing within yourself? Study, learn, grow. Utilize the tools on our channel. As well as many other videos to come. Because if you want us to make diet videos, let us know. Because we have secrets. I have been shared secrets. And I say this very, very humbly. But my own consciousness has been shared. Many, many sacred secrets. That I haven't really expressed that I would like to express. So let me know if you would be interested and I will create a video about it. There are so many secrets that affect us on the subconscious levels that many people don't even know about. They're not aware about. They're underutilizing it. These are resources that help us grow the aura, that help us grow the unconscious mind. We must save the vital life force energy and utilize it appropriately. We must transmute it and not spend it just on a pure physical means. Now, how do we do this? We transmute the energy. We radiate the perfection of our being. We save up this life force energy within us and we feel it powerfully within us because this is our inner being. This is the very life force essence that is driving the consciousness. It's God, if you want to call it God. It's the inner being within us all. And it's being expressed in certain facets, forms. See, it's up to us on what to do with this energy. Because God doesn't tell us on what to do with it. We can do whatever we want with it. That's where the free will comes into place. Or at least some souls, from what I understand, do not necessarily have this gift of free will. So the souls, if you're listening to this, the chances are you have free will. And even if you don't, Things are what it is. One thing's for certain. If you want inside, hey, if you just decide, it's not even about wanting. It's just, hey, I can decide to go take a more positive action for my life, something that benefits my health, wealth, happiness, prosperity. Do you believe that some souls were being been given free will and others have not? We don't know many things within the universe, and I admit myself, I do not know an inkling of what's all available within the universe, the universal knowledge. There's so much. The conscious ego mind does not know. This is why we must allow the aura life force energy to take over for us. But we also must work on clearing the life force essence. We must work on transmuting the energy from a negative toxic place if it is in fact more negative into a more loving energy. And this takes some time. It might take some discipline. It might take appropriate and practical lifestyle habits. You can do it. God has already given us the power to overcome the fleshly desires of this world and I declare decree favor over your life and over mine into eternity. Thank you for the blessings that you are now receiving. Thank you for the blessings that we are all now receiving as this message is being transmitted. You see, it's automatic. By saving up this life force energy, 
by conserving this life force energy. It automatically begins to express in our lives because it's always going to seek an outlet of expression. See, life force essence, creative life force essence is always seeking outlets for expression. That is its nature. You cannot stop it. But we must learn to transmute it, to hone the inner power. How do we hone this inner power? That's what we're studying. That's what we're learning. Continue tuning into videos like this. If you are enjoying topics such as this, this is very high-level power for which consciousness video. I don't normally upload videos like this to the channel, and I admit it. But the life force essence is coming through. So, in conclusion, instead of using this energy on a purely physical means via the lower chakra centers we are to learn how to transmute the energy into higher realms of consciousness this is where we begin to experience heaven on earth and i'm being serious and we already have done this and we already know about it and we're doing it together so i hope i really inspired someone with this message thank you so much for listening and continue listening as all of our life force energy is meant to express. Just remember, expression, expression, expression. That's what it's always meant for. And if we don't know the true passion of our expressions and we don't know, that's okay. The life force will help us create something in due season, in due time. Something inspiring for others and for ourselves because whenever we win other people win as well whenever we're happy see we've been brainwashed to believe that we need to be unhappy in order to like fit this society that things need to be hard in this old paradigm no it's never been like this the 5d earth consciousness is here and it's all about realizing the truth now and that is that life Really, if we allow this life force energy and we ascend it into the higher chakras, we allow it to express itself in different forms and fashions. And we begin to access higher realms. It's a beautiful process. And we begin to access the love of the soul, the love of the heart, the true passions. We begin to enter into different realms of consciousness, not just the hell realms. Not just the sacral realms of consciousness. Those do exist. But what is your life essence called to express in your own life, in your own life's journey? That's a question that we must all ask ourselves. It's a question that we are ongoingly asking ourselves. And I commend you for listening and giving your attention to this video and message. Allow it to serve as a tool Allow it to serve as a friend. Thank you for helping yourself. And we will see you in the next video. Just take this message, take it all to, to your heart, to your soul, and understand that the energy is expressed however you really wish for it to be expressed. This is where we expand our consciousness. We've always known this information. We are just very much concluding that we are coming into the realization once again because we are always moving ascending descending in consciousness we are always moving to and fro and that's normal that's okay we're exploring the depths of ourselves so take care guys and we will see you and we will see what we are going to express in different videos let me know if you would like the diet secrets please leave a comment if you would like you need to be more interactive and let us know what you would like to see within this video and within future videos and we are expressing a very powerful energy now so thank you for being a part of this transmission from my heart to yours we continue to express loving words and thank you again for everyone joining and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.